Hi, I'm Sean Walker, an instructor at Casey Trees, and we're here today to continue our discussion about pruning. So one of the primary things to look for in uh, addressing structural issues with a smaller or younger tree is codominance. And here in this swamp white oak, we have a good example of some codominance happening. As much as possible when you're uh, structurally pruning a tree, you want to encourage one central leader. As they say, there can only be one leader, right? So that's what you want to encourage. And to encourage that, you need to get rid of co-dominant competition for that leadership. In this instance, I see that this limb, that I, this uh, main um, vertical limb that I'm holding here with my left hand, I think that one is probably the dominant leader of this tree. But this one to the right is causing a little bit of trouble. It's kind of competing for leadership. One choice is to reduce that uh, stem on the right, taking it down a little bit to a lateral and leaving some of it there. That way it's not as vigorous, but you still left some up there. Um, and you're probably gonna encourage this one on the left to, uh, to grow more vigorously and become the dominant stem. Another option is to actually remove the one on the right all the way down to the, to the base, um, which would be right here. And that, that way totally removing the competition and not um, having any concerns at all with the remaining uh, kind of a tight crotch there where, where the attachment could be problematic down the road. And that second option is what I'm gonna choose today. I think this is kind of a borderline time but just about the right time where we can actually remove that codominant stem entirely down to the union right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started by recalling the ABC cut or the three cut method and just create a little bit of a safety notch right here. It's kind of the, the bottom of this branch or the bottom side of this branch in case the branch starts, um, the, the weight of the branch starts kind of uh, splitting it down or starting to peel the bark. I'll have a little safety gap right here that will uh, keep the bark from peeling on down the tree. So that's just the A cut there on the bottom side. And now I can just freely remove all the weight of this, of this entire branch, uh, whatever feels convenient. And I'm gonna be fairly aggressive. Heads up. Now I've left myself with a more uh, kind of a stub that I can negotiate a little bit easier. And I'm going to make, I'm going to use this <coughs> branch bark ridge. It's this little ridge of bark between these two codominant stems as kind of a guide. I'm going to go kind of equal and opposite in an angle across there to make my final cut. So something about like this. As I get close to the end, I try and slow down a little so I don't accidentally go too far and cut into the opposite branch that we're keeping. All right, there we go. So I've done my best to leave a nice clean cut right there at an appropriate angle. And what we've done now is we've, we've totally removed the uh, co-dominant stem. So now we have one primary leader a little bit of a gap is left here, but that'll fill in. And, uh, and over time, the swamp white oak will have nice structure. It'll start getting more codominant stems as it gets older and so on, but we've done what we could. 